right everybody welcome back to the channel if you are not already a subscriber hit that subscribe button also like the video because i feel like it's fixing to be a good video here um packed up just got packed up whoa about fell got the boat ready um got the old canoe this is jeremy's old canoe he has killed a lot of big deer in it so i'm hoping I get to kill a big deer in it, but we will see. I'm heading to Kentucky. Me and my cousin's heading to Kentucky. Um, fixing to head up there and actually go to his house and meet him because he's actually kind of on the way. Um, we're going in two vehicles um, because I might, depending on how this particular hunt goes, may add another state in there somewhere. Just depends on how the hunt goes, though. Not saying there's going to be a two-state. This is going to be a two-state trip. We'll see. But everything's loaded up. Got her hooked up while ago got the tires tires aired up on her and checked got a couple spares because you never know when you're gonna need one anyway here we go everything's loaded up in the in the camper shell again so let's get on the road i'm ready to go kill something all right we're here at jack's house we're here at my cousin's house old jack he telling his wife bye but we fixed to get on the road what time is it 8.30. You ready to go? Ready to go. You ready for this? Ready Get out there, son. Let's go. What, well, we got six hour drive? Six hour drive. Gotta stop and get gas, and then we on the road, so let's hit it. Let's hit it. Well, good morning, everyone. We are in Kentucky hunting. We got here this morning at about five. Four or five o'clock, I can't remember. We got probably an hour of sleep at the most but uh we're here i brought the boat up in here got it tied off right there got this creek goes up through here you can hunt both sides of it but there's a lot more ground this way and it's pretty well landlocked the way it is that's kind of why i'm wanting to focus on it more you can get to it from this side you can hunt that and there's like there's a shallow spot right there somebody might cross on but it's way way back in here from where the parking lot is on this side I had to get me a drink this morning i don't have any water i'm running running on v8 energy this morning <clears throat> this is the second one i've had so i'm gonna be able to fly up and down these hills but uh jack went to another spot i'm gonna go easing up through here i got two tactic cams and a gopro so if i run into a deer Maybe I can make a hunt out of it. Hopefully I can. Um, but pretty much just want to get as much scouting done as we can today. Because tomorrow, we're supposed to have a huge cold front come in. When I say huge, today is going to be like 75 for the high. Tomorrow, the high, it's going to get up to 65 by like 11 or 12. But it's going to drop to 45 by like one so i mean there's there's gonna be rain in the morning and then that temperature just gonna drop off really cold so and then it's gonna be like 20 something tomorrow night so hopefully we can have some good spots found and uh, be ready to hunt them after that rain moves out tomorrow but uh enough of me talking i need to get to looking and uh scout finding a spot to hunt for tomorrow so let's go morning I got down here to the boat I left the boat in the water last night because I knew I was gonna be back before daylight and uh, got down here and look at the frost on this boat yeah. stuff is thick this morning it's like 26 right now so I'm fixing to throw my stuff in the Throw my extra clothes and bow and everything in the boat, and we'll start heading on back up the back of this back of this lake here. Maybe have something come in this morning. Go ahead and kill. I got to run back up here to the truck and 
get the decoy. I forgot the decoy. So I gotta run back up here and get it, and then I'll be ready to go. It's 8.03 right now. I just got in the tree. I knew, uh, I knew I wanted to be in this probably 50 yard radius right here where I'm at. Somewhere, I, like I said, I, I come through here yesterday and looked and found a lot of good sign. Uh, so I knew I wanted to be in this area. I just didn't know exactly where, but the way the wind was gonna be, cause I knew it was gonna change overnight so but I'm in here now like I say it took me a little while to get in here but I got several trails crossing back and forth there's actually a big trail right over here that crosses goes across the creek and it's just there's this little cedar ridge right here that's really thick and there's a big trail going down it and it comes right here by me kind of a gap right here in the in the transition zone right here from these really thick cedars and then I got like a big thick uh, little sapling thicket right here and there's kind of an open gap right there that they're going in between so like I said I got a couple trails over here to my right coming around I know there's a trail right out here in front of me. I'm kind of just right in the middle of a bunch of, just a bunch of intersection of trails coming together and crossing. So maybe something will come through here. I got my decoy out. I put it about, I don't know, 10 yards from me. I, I think, I really think a deer will come to it, but I'm still a little gun shy of it because I've never, I've never had a deer come in while I've had to decoy out or come in and see it. So I don't really know how they're gonna react to it when they see it, but I kinda got it right here. It's visible from some spots. <clears throat> but not just everywhere. I didn't stick it like right on the main trail where they're walking. Um, they can kinda see it from that main trail, but I didn't want to put it right in the middle of where they're coming through. It's the main trail. What I'm calling the main trail is right here to my left. So I kind of got it where they can sort of see it, but not really. So I'm not saying it don't work. I just don't know how these uh, Kentucky deer are going to act to it, or really any deer, because like I say, I've never had any deer come in and look at it when I was hunting. So anyway. We're gonna sit back, try and hang in here all day. So, wish me luck.
fucking smoking. Oh, crap. Come on. Zoom out. Let's tell me that was up. <laughs> boom, baby. Boom, boom, boom. Oh my freaking gosh, yes, yes. That's what I'm freaking talking about. I know I probably did not get that shot on video. I don't care. Got to take the camera running up here. I just looked. I just caught a glimpse of a deer standing there. Thank you, good Lord, for that one. Oh, yes. Mm. Well, freaking tough. <sighs> he was looking at the decoy. I'm gonna say this: the decoy, the decoy saved me, cause he was looking at that decoy. I had a hole. I'm telling you, it's it was that freaking big. I drew back and I grunted at him. He stopped. <sighs> I guessed him. I don't even know what I guessed him for. I picked that hole out and just freaking 12 ringed him. Oh man. And I was sitting here thinking about getting down and moving because my wind was blowing like this. I had a little buck come up here above me earlier at like 9.15. What time is it? It's 10 o'clock, so 45 minutes ago. This little buck come around on this hill and he smelled me. Oh, oh, shh, 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 shh. Yes! Dad gummit. That's a big deer. He's wide. He's really wide. Oh, yes. First set in a tree in Kentucky ever I've been scouting for two days I found this spot yesterday and I liked it I said I'm gonna go back there in the morning I like it really looks good might as well go get down and find him I know he's dead let's go all right we're on the ground there's the decoy. I was in that tree right there that's kind of leaning. I just left all my stuff right there at the base of the tree. I ain't worried about picking it up right now. Man, I'm still shaking. Let me see if I can find my arrow. I don't really, I never could see it from the tree. Stayed in him. Pretty sure he was right in here. No, he was over here. Where was I at? Right there. I may went too far. Anyway, I'll find the arrow later. I did. I just fletched these arrows up before I left the house. And I've been wanting to shoot a deer with them. I just did. I am going to find that arrow. But I want to find the deer first. We gotta see if I can find some blood. Oh yeah. That didn't take long. Right here. I can see it spraying. Go track him up. Still got blood. Kind of lost it. Right there. Oh, there he is. Heck you. Yeah. He didn't go. He didn't go 
75 yards. My air is still in him. That's weird. I thought it went through him. Oh. I got to tore my air up. Gosh. Look at that sucker. He been rubbing. <laughs> Look at my arm. Please don't tell me you broke it. Yeah. Broadhead come out. That's weird. Huh. That's really weird. Just come unscrewed. Broke my knock. Mm. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Stick it back in there if I can. Whew. Look at that suck. Jeez. Boom, baby. First Kentucky buck. Let me get my other camera set up here and do a good interview with him. All right, everybody. Here is my Kentucky buck. I got him kind of drug around here and halfway cleaned up, so YouTube won't kick us off. But, uh, what a beautiful buck. He's just a seven point, but he's super wide. Super, super wide. Probably, he's probably close to 20 inches wide. He got a big brow tine on this side. Pretty heavy. I mean, there ain't nothing wrong with him. I am tickled to death with him. Get your tongue back in boy. I've been scouting for the last two days, and uh, this morning is the first morning. I've sat in a tree in Kentucky a total of two hours. I got in a tree at 8.03. Everything's set up at like 8.03 today, this morning. And then uh, he come through at like 10 o'clock, and I freaking, <laughs> I mean, I 12 ringed him. Uh, I had a little old bitty hole to shoot through, and uh, I made it count. Gave me that. Well, I said I just need one good opportunity at a deer, and he he gave it to me, and I made it count. But man, look at that freaking deer! I am so thankful for this deer. He had been rubbing some trees too. He got cedar. I knew I found some big big rubs down here yesterday, and I was like, that's either a really wide deer or a really really big deer doing that, and no. Uh, Obviously, it's a really wide deer doing it because he got the proof that he's doing it right here on these these uh these cedar shavings on his horn. So I did uh I did find my broadhead. It wasn't on my air, and I got to following the blood back, and it felt it come off. I guess it just come unscrewed. It's all it done right here about ten feet from where he fell. So I got my broadhead back. I had got some new broadheads, and I fletched these arrows up before I left. Uh, four fletch and little old broadheads I got were four blades one inch cut but four bladed broadhead and I've been itching to shoot them at something and uh, I got the chance this morning but that right there is what hunting is all about to me got plenty of meat and a big old set of horns you can show everybody so oh yeah let's get him out of here all right, made it back here to him. Uh, had to go empty out my backpack at the truck, and uh, got my got my bags. Had to get my knife. Left my good knife. I had a pocket knife, but it's kind of dull. Um, got my good knife. Got my sharpened steel. Come back and uh, fixing to quarter him up, uh, debone him, quarter him up, debone him, and uh, pack him out of here. So 
I got a perfect spot. This is kind of when I'm trying to quarter up a deer and debone it, it's kind of what I like. You see how this limb kind of comes out at an angle? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my my hiss strap, my tethered hiss strap, and I'm gonna run it over it. That way it's kind of hanging down straight like this. It ain't right up against a tree. You can wrap it around a tree, but then your meat's hanging against a tree and it gets bark and dirt and all kind of stuff on it. So that's kind of what I like to look for when I'm when I'm gonna hang and, and debone my my deer. So anyway, let me get to it. It's probably gonna take me a while. It took me kind of a while to get out and get back. It's two o'clock right now. I can't believe it took me that long. Well, I kind of can because I, I lingered around here and I sat and looked at him for probably an hour and a half. But anyway, fixing to get, get on it. That's going to wrap up the video, y'all. I appreciate y'all joining. Um, if you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button on this video. We really appreciate it. We're trying to get some, some more stuff out. I know we've been really, really behind on uploading stuff, but we've been trying to hunt. And with only two of us that really do most of the editing, stuff's backing up. So I know we got some really good hunts coming out with some really good deer um, here in the next couple up episodes for sure never know what's liable to come down the road here within the next week or so uh hunting wise so anyway like i say hope y'all really enjoyed this appreciate y'all watching and uh we'll see y'all on the next one <laughs>